What? How? I don't understand. I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say right now. But I do. So let's get into it. What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, the Lionheart. And I'm back. Spider Man. Across the Spider Verse. I was not expecting this movie to be like that. Straight off the bat, this movie is a 10 out of 10. Best Spider-Man movie ever. What? I've never, I've never seen a film so creative, so Different, so vibrant, managing to mix the blend of relating me, people. We all go through some hard times in life, you know, what we're doing, how we're fitting in, how we're going through life day to day. Family, friends, how we balance and manage every day and how we push ourselves to be more, to be better, to fail, but then to pick ourselves back up and push on. This movie has all of that and it kind of, it relates, like you look at the movie and you feel like the themes, something relates to you. Be it about family, be it about interaction, uh, be it about you growing up, you and your current state now, where you're going. This movie has all of that and it relates to every, the characters, it relates it to um, Miles Morales, it relates it to Miguel O'Hara, it relates it to Gwen Stacy, it relates it to everybody in the in the the show what's the name again Mar uh, rio morales and um, that is miles morales's dad it relates you to everything and then there's the superhero element of it and because all of it kind of pulls you in you feel an affinity for the world, the characters, and what they're going through. I, don't, I need to look into this movie because I'm going to be very honest. I watched one trailer that I reacted to. I think I reacted to it on this channel, Lionheart Mind Explosion. And that was it. I did not... Watch any other trailer. There was a couple other trailers, but I didn't watch them. I really didn't have the time. And I've watched the first Spider-Man um, into the Spider-Verse movie. So I thought to myself, I know what to expect. You're not going to sell me anything on the trailer. I'm going to watch the film. I guess when it comes out, it looks good. I like the first movie. I want to see a movie where Spider-Man is just Spider-Man from the beginning. Because Spider-Man in the original movie, he was godlike. At, um, especially at the last, I think like 15 minutes, when he put the mask on and he just became... Spider-Man, Miles Morales, he was incredible. I wanted a movie like that. Now, I didn't quite get that movie, but we did get that movie. But he, the movie is more. It's so much more than just a superhero movie. But it's a superhero movie. You know, it's a superhero movie. It's a 
family movie, it's a romance movie, it's a adventure movie, it's the superhero, Spider-Man universe, visuals, just story, mystery, you don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea what was happening in this movie minute to minute. There were some elements where I tried to guess. Oh, yeah, 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 that's going to happen. Nope, didn't happen. The movie kept changing and I just didn't know who was going to pop up, what was going to happen, what the event was, the, um, the ending of the scene. Every single second, every single frame of this movie meant something. I need to look into this movie, who directed it, who produced it, who edited it, who were the animators, because these guys care a little bit too much about everything. Holy moly. Mate, I was blown away by this movie. Blown away. When I got to the cinema and I watched the movie, and I started to watch the movie, um, I wanted to watch it in a biggest screen. And the first screen was packed up at an earlier time. And I saw the second earliest time. And then the screens were, it was a little bit of a smaller screen. But it was all the seats were packed up. There was only a couple seats that were free. Right, but I would have been sandwiching between people. But I saw at a later time in the afternoon. That there would be the biggest screen free. Not many tickets booked. So I was like, you know what? I'm going in there. I booked my tickets two hours before I was due to go to the cinema. Got in there. Not many people in there. I was like, yes, result. Three minutes into the movie, starting. I have never seen a tsunami of people enter a cinema that big since... Maybe... Captain America, Civil War. Because that one, because when I was in that cinema, it literally took like, I kid you not, like 30 minutes for people that were just coming in and trying to find their seats to the point where they had to stop the film and delay the film because so many people were coming to the cinema at the same time. And it was just trying to find their seats that it delayed the film. This was like that. Except the movie had already started. And I don't think the cinema was expected to do it. So they weren't going to do that. But this, the cinema was packed up. Packed up. And what I noticed with all the people coming in. It's a good thing. There's no problem. No problem. There was more women in the cinema than men. Um, okay. I think to myself, I've missed something here. Because I don't even know. I didn't watch all the trailers. I only watched one trailer. That the very first trailer for this movie. So I don't even know who this movie is directed at. But there was a lot of women. There's way more women than men. Like young women. Right? Uh, but there was also a, a mix of people, man. You know, I even saw, like, really old people. Like, you know, somebody with, like, a walking stick that couldn't even walk properly. You know, they must have looked like, I don't know, like... 60, clocking 70, something like that. There were so many different types of people coming to see this movie. This movie reaches for everybody holy moly people are into some spider-man and there was a lot a lot of kids dude and i would say when i say kids i mean like i would say from the ages from as young as maybe three because i heard crying babies to maybe 18, 19, and all in between. And when I say all in between, I mean like 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right, and they were like, and I was unfortunate enough to be in an area where they were the loudest, goofiest, dumbest little shits in the world throughout the movie. They wouldn't shut up. Everybody in the cinema was like groaning and just like, "Are you serious?" Even I, at one point, had to say to them, "What are you doing? Are you good?" The movie's running. Settle down. Me. And I was about an hour into the movie of just them yap, 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 yapping. Just causing mess, dude. Right? But I still, I, even though there was that, I was still able to enjoy the movie. I was still able to enjoy it because I zoned in. But there was the quiet bits with the story that really hurt me when they were making a little bit of noise but I, my, the point is there were so many different types of people but even they closed their mouth at certain points and i could i could hear a little bit from what they were saying even goofballs like those guys and there was a lot of them even they were paying attention to the deep story bits with like gwen stacy and miles and Jefferson and Rio and all those characters. So it was, it just showed me that the reach that this movie has, right? And the movie is good, so good, everybody sees it. From the super old people to the youngest, goofiest, wackiest people that you would not think are into superhero movies, you know? So yeah, the movie is just an incredible film, man. Um, ten out of ten. I definitely go rate um rate the movie super highly. Best Superman movie I've ever watched. I literally don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. The movie has everything. The perfect superhero movie. The one thing that really irked me, that if I will say there was one asterisk with this film, but I didn't watch the trailers and I'm, I haven't been doing any research into this movie, so I didn't know this. But apparently, it was kind of, it was already kind of hinted at if you searched it out on the internet. This is part one of two. I didn't even know that. It's like Infinity War and then Endgame. Because you're watching a movie. And the movie is weird in a way because for almost two hours, if the movie, I don't know how long the movie is, but the movie felt it was long, but it didn't feel long because it was so much mental, visual overload, but it was so fascinating and no filler. Just non-stop, incredible, visual, story, interesting, fascinating characters and script and everything. Gwen Stacy, godlike character. Miles Morales, godlike character. Uh, Spot was a godlike character. Oh, I don't even know what to say. It was a really good movie, man. Really, really good movie. I'd hundred percent um say you go watch the film, right? Uh, but yeah, as I said, it just surprised me that it was just part one, and there's going to be a second part, right? Because as I was saying, I was watching the movie, and what I realized is as the movie, I felt like this has got to be the ending or coming close to the ending, and. The movie is like a roller coaster ride where it just keeps on going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And I'm like, we must be in like the third act now. Yeah, this has definitely got to be the third act. And now we've got to start winding the film down, right? The movie just kept on climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. Like, like, 
well, this is some crazy stuff like the stakes. You're building the stakes super high, bro. How are you going to pay this off? But the main villain of the it's the Spider-Verse does not start the movie off as a main villain, right? But by the end of the movie, that character is the number that is the villain, bro. Like it's got a protagonist protagonists and an antagonist 100 percent. that is clear and the main um antagonist is worthy they they are worthy because there's more than one right and the antagonist antagonists wow they are super fabulous uh, protagonists, right? And the movie just kept on climbing and climbing and climbing. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm just going to enjoy the movie. I don't know how long I've been sitting here, but I'm enjoying it and I'll be prepared to sit here for, if you want to give me another 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, I'm here for it, right? And then it just, and then it just ends with to be continued. I was like, you are joking. You are absolutely joking. I mean, other people were clapping me, I weren't in no clapping mood. Not with that. I weren't in no clapping mood, bro. Like, I'm enjoying the movie. And I'm like, don't do this to me. Don't do a to be continued. So, okay, so this is um, end game. This is um, Infinity War. And part two, we're going to get end game, right? And then it's something like it's got it, Mars Man is going to come back. The movie is going to be in 2024 or something like that. And I think it's going to be called um, Beyond the Spider Verse or something like that, right? This was across the Spider Verse. So, um, yeah, unbelievable, incredible. That's my, this has got to be my longest spoiler free review. Yeah, uh, but we're going to do a spoiler review. So if you guys want to see that, that's coming up soon. Uh, but as I said, for this movie, incredible, godlike, 10 out of 10 movie, 100% you go watch this movie. And please don't watch any reviews that say anything about this movie. Don't listen to anyone that's going to talk about this movie. Because there's so much going on in this film that you cannot guess what's going to happen. This film is truly, truly a masterpiece of filmmaking. It's incredible, man. As I said, the best Spider-Man movie ever. One of the best movies I have ever watched in my life. I was just flabbergasted. Everything in this movie had meaning. Everything. There was not one wasted frame. Not one. They packed this movie to the brim, bro. Like, wow. So, yeah, Warriors, that's my spoiler-free review. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching. Take care. Stay blessed. And, um, yeah, if you want to stick around, I am going to do my spoiler review. So, um, yeah, I hope you join me for that. So, until then, laters. Thank <laughs> you.